Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. Today I'm just going to teach you how to use the Macrotic User Manager for Macrotic Wi-Fi. Usually this Wi-Fi is used for hotels or motels and what it does is that it you know distributes Wi-Fi usernames to um, uh, clients on your hotels. Okay, so we have the Macrotic um, uh, uh, login page here. So I'm just going to type in the login users. Okay, so we have an existing username here with profiles. Okay, you might want to ask, um, how do you create a limit for its uh, Wi-Fi username that will access the uh, our Wi-Fi um, system? So here it is. At the moment, we have uh, this microtic um, display panel here, and it's showing the current generated, the latest generated username and password for Wi-Fi. So here, we have the Bavon series. I just name it Bavon series, so I can easily remember uh, which um, usernames have I already sent to the um, hotels that we are managing. Oh, I mean the company that I'm working with is managing, not me personally <laughs> managing the hotel. Okay, so we have here the usernames. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this username so we can recreate it and you guys can follow up how to generate a username uh, that the user um, can connect to in a hotel Wi-Fi system. So I'm just going to untick this thing first and remove them. Take it all. So these are the users that I'm currently deleting. I just created this earlier, but just to share how I'm doing it, I'm going to delete all of this. I actually generated 100 of these usernames, so they don't, I mean, it, I just sent them one list that they can use for, you know, 100 users. So how do we create the users on this uh, Macrotic User Manager? So first you go to, sorry, maintenance. So under maintenance, you'll see, oh, sorry, not maintenance, but the user profiles, sorry, here. We go first to profiles. Currently, we have two profiles that we've created. One is the three hour free. It has a limit of three hours. And another is for one day, which is 24 hour free. So let's just take it there. Uh, I've already created this 24 hours and three hours earlier. So right now I'm going to show you how to create the profile and set the limitation for this um, uh, Wi-Fi uh, hotspots. We have the three hour and then 24 hour free. Now we're going to create a 12 hour um, uh, Wi-Fi access for our customers. So go to profiles, sorry, profiles on the left panel and then go to the profile section. Now create a limitation first. Sorry, go to limitations first. Click on the limitation tab and click add. New. Now you can put the name of the limitation. 
So I'm going to put fail. Those are 12 hour free. And I'm going to click this break limit and put 1M, which stands for 1MB. It's up to you if you want to put 512 or 2 Mbps. So these are the limit, the bandwidth that we will be assigning to our clients. So I'm just going to put 1 here as a standard. And for uptime, it's going to be a 12 hours. H, put 12 H there. Priority not specified, and then click Add. So now we have a 12 hour here. If you can see, uh, most of them have similar. Let's close this thing first. The three hours have similar, similar oh, sorry, similarities here, except for the, the uptime which is uh, three hours only. And while the 24 hours will have one day. And the three hours will have, yes, 12. Now that we have the limitation, we can create our profile now. And all we need to do is just click this plus sign here to create a new profile. Of course, it's under the profile tab, which is also under the profile section. So let's create the 12 hour free. So it goes here. So if you select the currently created one, you will not see any limited, I'm sorry, I mean the limitations here at the bottom. If you have the three hours, I already preset it. That goes the same for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and apply the limitation that you just created to this new profile. So select one. Shared users means the number of users that are going to share, be sharing this uh, um, Wi-Fi access. So just add the new limit limitation here and take the 12 hour free. So now you have a limitation for 12 hour. So there you go, guys. That's how you create the limitations and the profile for this Wi-Fi, which we will be using for the uh, credential. So now we're go going to create the credentials under the users. Just click the users on the user panel. And as you can see, there's uh, only three buttons here. So just click the add. It's either you can create one or you can create a whole batch of it. So let's go ahead and create a batch so it saves us time. Batch by batch, we mean that we create 100 or 30 or 500 uh, usernames uh, uh, at once. So let's go ahead and type the username here. So we're going to name it Babon. Babon is the, the surname of our IT guy in one of our branch. So let's go ahead and use Babon for them to easily remember the prefix. The prefix is the name, I mean the, the characters in front of the username, that, which is easily distinguishable because Babon is a, like a common name in our country. So I'll use Babon, and then we'll have to add another characters, attach another character to the word Babon, so it, it creates a unique name for the username. So you can actually change the number of length, I mean the length, number of characters that you will be appending to the word Babon. For now, we're going to use three characters. And for the password length, you need to, yeah, for me, I'm just going to create the four letter password for them to easily input into your mobile phone or any laptop or any other devices that they want to put the password in. And now I'm going to use the, going to go to the number of users and I'm going to type 100. 100 for 100 people. Let's go ahead and put it, put that in and let's go to constraint. There's nothing in there. Wireless, private. Okay, that's it. Assign the profile that you just created and then click Add. As you can see, it 
generated a whole lot of username with the prefix babon and the suffixes that are unique. So it makes the whole world word of I mean the whole username unique to each other because they have they've been separated by different suffixes. Uh, if you click on each each name, you will see the four letter password that we just created there. So not actually letter but four character password that you will be giving to your clients. In order for us to send this to our client, uh, to the hotel manager, we're going to generate a CSV file that we will be importing to our Excel file. So let's generate this one. CSV file. Okay, select a CSV file and download, click download this file. Click generate. So now it just created the CSV file. So click this arrow here and open the folder where it is saved. Since I already have the Babon series earlier, I'm just going to put Babon 2 here and change the HTML to CSV. Now the HTML file is a CSV file. Let's go ahead and open Excel. So I have a pre-formatted um, form here to which I can paste the usernames. Let's go ahead and create a new file in Excel and drag this CSV file here. So these are the, CS the usernames that I just created. Select them all and copy paste it to our preformatted form. There you go. Now we have 100 of username and password that we can distribute to our hotel clients. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, I hope this uh, demonstration has helped you. If you have any question, you can comment it down to the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you find this uh, video useful, please subscribe to my channel. And have a nice day, everyone. Bye.